my boat stays buoyant, I'll be fishing As long as I'm giving a minute to flip a chicken scratch Swimming bomber, as long as I'm giving at least an hour to run down to the Daniel Outdoorsman here again today Today's gonna be kind of an informational video Or kind of a techniques, I guess I should say A video on helping you guys out on what to use If you're not, if you're struggling in the winter bass fishing If you're sh not knowing what to use in the winter bass fishing You're not going out because you can't catch any fish in the winter um, this is a video for you guys. Um, I know I've got a lot of questions about what to use during the winter. It is a much asked question because there is, it's, they're hard to catch. I mean, they're swimming towards the bottom of the lakes or ponds, whatever you fish, rivers. Their bite is a lot less active as they were before. They're just overall a lot less active. They're just slow, not moving as much as they are. So they're going to kind of go for a bigger bait that's worth getting rather than a small bait. They're going to be going for something that's moving slower than a fast bait because they want something easy. They want an easy, nice, big, worth it, kind of like a uh, kind of big bait because they're not going to want to get a small, small bait that's moving fast. It's not worth it for them to get because it's small. And if they have a big, big bait moving fast, they're not even going to want to go for that. They're going to want a big bait moving nice and slow so they can catch it a lot easier than if they had a big finicky. So crankbaits, like I said, you want deep and slow. So you're going to want deep diving crankbaits. You're not going to go with shallow diver, excite baits, crankbaits at this point. You're going to be going at slower, bigger crankbaits. So ones that dive like 11, 15 feet. Here is, okay, I'll, I'll go from one that I use the most to one I use the least. This one is, it's okay. I haven't caught many fish on it at, as much as you would with other ones. This is the Yozuri. Uh, I forgot what it's called, high depth, something like that, crankbait. It is a nice, uh, probably three inch bait with a bill, probably five inch bait. And it's a very nice di deep diving with nice tungsten, so it gets down there fast. So it's coming down to the bottom of the lake and it's just going slow wobble and going like that. Those bass are going to be, this is a key bait for bass, right there. Next one is my, okay, I'll go hold this one next. This one is one of my best. This is probably, I've caught the most fish on this, if not, I don't know, maybe a little less. But this is a Rapala. I don't use Rapala that much, but if I were to use one, this is the Rapala X-Raps, uh, kind of like a green herring kind of bait. It's about a uh, four-inch bait with the bill, and it's got this very straight bill, so it's going to dive very deep. And it's got this tight wobble, and it goes slow if you slow roll it. So those fish are going to key in on that bait, too. Rapala, deep diving crank bait. My prob, I don't know, it's between these two of my best. This one just works great. I mean, overall, works great. It is a um, live target uh, crawdad deep diving crank bait. What's great about this is when the crawdad's moving, it looks like it's in its defense mode, moving away from the bass. So here it is, going deep down, wobble, wobble, tight wobble, bass keying on this, not because it's big, because it looks like in its defense mode, and crawdads are an easy target to them. There, you've got the live target crawdad, very nice detail all on that bait. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty mainly the three ones that I'll use. I'm not going to go with a little snub or with a... Uh, it's like baits at this point, it's too late in the season for that. They're not going to be shallow. So, those are the baits right there. That, that was probably, it's not my favorite way of doing it, but here's my, one of my, this is, here's a tie for my favorite ones. This is jigs. This is probably my favorite way of fishing overall. Here, as you can see, I have a bunch of jigs, um, new tech lures being most of them. So, yeah, let's get into it. If I were to choose one jig, um, well, this is a jig that I'd use if the, the bite is super tough. If the bite, they're not biting at anything, I can't catch them, I'd go to a nice big black and blue mop jig all the way. Mop jigs are big, huge profile, worth it for the bass to eat, and a very nice, slow moving bait. That's what I like about jigs. There's really no way, it's not like you have to worry about them getting caught to the bottom because that's how you fish them is on the bottom unless you're using a swim jig. Um, but yeah, the mop jig is an awesome bait. If you're having the hardest time and you cannot catch them, go to a mop jig. Go buy one at Cabela's, Dick's, anywhere you go. Nice black and blue. It's great because when you bounce it, it's got all these this big, huge skirt that comes up. And those bass are keying in on that because if it just sits there, 
They're like, all right, looks easy. Moves up a little bit. They're going for it right away. They're going to get their mouth and just nail on it. Plus, it's got these rattles if you can't hear them. I don't know if you can or not. But, yeah, there's that. If the bite's not as hard as it is, and I really am just going to do it, my go-to lure for all time year round, no matter what kind of fishing I'm doing, it's a New Tech Lures. Go check them out at newtechlures.com, which will be right here. Um, yeah, uh, go check them out, newtechlures.com. They make by far the best jigs you will ever use, best technology you will ever use, and best colors you will ever see in a jig. Um, I'll show you probably one of my my favorite jig uh, colors that they make, which is the this is this is the lure go to jig I will we'll always use. They have crazy technology for a good price. This is a three eighth ounce new jig with the very nice skirt. It's like a, it's a uh, sunfish pattern, bluegill pattern. Take a quick look at that. Very nice arm guards. Awesome lure. As you can see, their skirts are nice and full, big and bulky. And you've got this very nice hook at the bottom there. And a place to keep your trailers. With jigs, you're going to want to use trailers. Craw trailers especially, because when you have a jig here and they have those trailers coming up like this, those craws, it looks like they're in the defense mode and bass are going to go for them right away. Again, jigs are very nice, slow moving. You hit the bottom, bass are down there anyways. They're hit it, standing like this, jigs coming up, bass key on them that right away. They're going to take it, especially with a trailer. So there's the new jig there. I'm going for smallmouth mainly. Those are kind of like for everywhere, but if I'm going for smallmouth on the rocks, this is the smallmouth bait. Go to Dandy Baits if you're going to go smallmouth fishing, smallmouth bass fishing. Here you see I have three of these. I don't go with smallmouth that much, but when you do, they're a lot of fun. You better, got, you guys better go do it. Go pick up some Danny Bates. They're kind of a smaller profile, easier for those smallmouths to get in their mouth, and they've got awesome, awesome action. Here I've got the little general one. I made an unboxing of these earlier, one of my videos, with a Z-Man. The Z-Mans go perfect with these baits, especially the color I've got. So what you're going to do with these, you're going to throw them up on the rocks. Their heads are going to get caught right there. And you're going to have these in the defense mode. And what's nice about the Laztec is they float very well. And those bats, again, are going to key in on these. This is also good for winter, um, smallmouth, anything really right there. So look, there's another winter technique. And now we're going to go into my by far favorite technique I've ever done pretty much overall throughout all the season of bass fishing, which is, yep, you guys call it, swim baits, guys. Uh, if you don't have a swim bait, you better go pick up one now. If I were to really recommend one to you guys, it would be the Spro BBZ1 Junior 6-inch swim bait. They have four, uh, three hinges, uh, two hinges, three segments, very nice sticky hooks, two very nice trebles, and these catch smallmouth, these catch largemouth, they catch anything, especially, especially, especially during the hard bite of the winter. If you go take one of these, and the slow diving is what I like because it's going down like that, bats are going to look at it a lot easier, say they hit it on the fall. And you're going to want to slow roll this thing. This slow rolling is crazy wicked action. This thing is by far the coolest bait I've ever seen on the market. Spro, uh, go check out Spro at Tackle Warehouse and go pick up some BBC One Juniors. They're nice because you they have floating, fast sinking, and slow sinking. Slow sinking and floating are my favorite. They have the best action. They've got this very nice segments here that create even sound also when they're in the water to the bass if you can hear that. And you're going to want to throw this just as deep as you can get it before it hits the bottom and just keep it right along the bottom just slow rolling it like that and those bass are going to nail it. I guarantee if you go out and you work this all day you will catch a nice huge honker bass. The next one I like, this is my second favorite, this is, this is more of kind of like a fall bite one but I mean I've catched some winter bass. If you were to go winter bass go check out the Spros. Here's a, uh, a Z9 Perch by Bass Pro. This one is from Mad Matt, 12392, some, uh, I don't remember the numbers, but Mad Matt, Matt, um, he sent me this one, I already had one, but it was very nice of him to send me one in the tackle package, and here it is, awesome action of a sunfish, and those bass will also go after that too. Here guys, those, I went over my three, these aren't the only tactics you can use, but I went over my three favorite tactics to go during the winter, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, catch you guys later.